Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can add the best reverb effect on your singing vocals. So, without further ado, let's get started. So guys, I have here a vocals of a song that we are going to add the reverb effect on. So we are going to go to effects, reverb, and go to studio reverb. And this is going to pop up. Here you can see presets, you can choose any of them. We, we have like vocal reverb, large, medium, small, you have guitar reverb and other things. You can choose any of them and pick the best one for your audio and try to listen to these effects. But in this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you what is the room size, the decay, the early reflection, all that I'm going to explain to you so you can know what is it doing to your audio. But let's try the vocal reverb medium on this audio. In Indiana, there's a flower going away. It sounds great, but we are going to go back to defaults so I can explain everything and make my own preset. So, first of all, the room size. The lower it is, the more reverb you will hear. So let's try it if we put it on one and here. Indiana. So there is more reverb and I'm going to leave it on one so you can hear the changes that I do on the other effects. The second one is decay. Decay is how long you want the reverb to go on for. So let's try to make it very high, like 10,000, and hear the change. Indiana. That is a huge reverb. So I want to make it around like 4,000. I think it will be much great. Let's hear it. Indiana. It sounds much better. And let's go to early reflections. Early reflection is simply how much reverb you want to hear early on. So if we make it like 100 and here. Indiana, there's a flag. It's not very good to be high, so we're going to make it 30. Let's just press on it and press on the keyboard, 3, 0. Let's hear it. Indiana. That is great. So let's go to width. Width is really simple to explain. It is that, do you want the reverb to be stereo or mono? So if I move it to zero, it will be mono. Indiana, there's a flower. And if I move it to 100, it's going to be stereo. So it's going to become from both channels, the left and the right of your speakers. So the best number is to be 90. And now the high frequency cut. Well, that is simply... What frequencies do you want to cut out of the reverb? The best number is 6000. So I don't want to hear any frequencies above 6000 Hertz. And the low cut frequency, it's basically the same, but it works on the low frequency. So I don't want to hear any frequencies under Let's say 400. Let's hear it. Indiana, there's a flower going. It sounds great. So let's go to damping. Simply, it makes it warmer the more you apply to it. So let's hear it. If we put it on 100, press. Indiana. There's a flower going away. So we want to set it on 40. And let's go to the diffusion, which is a similar thing to damping. 
the higher it is, the more you can hear that the reverb is being absorbed. So let's make it really high and listen. In the animal, there's a flower going away. So that sounds great, but we are going to put it on 80. And let's hear it. In the animal, there's a flower going away. Sounds much better. Finally, we want to adjust the output level. So the dry level stands for the normal voice. I'm going to set it 100. Because if I put it on zero, let's hear what happens. We can only hear the reverb. We can't hear the voice. So we're going to set it on 100. And we want to play with the width. The width is how much reverb single you want on your audio. So 20, I think it's it's the best one for my audio. You can try any number that you want and uh, it's basically, it depends on the audio that you are working on and how much reverb you want to be on your audio. So it's up to you, but for me, I think 20 is the best for this audio. Let's hear it after all the effects. In the Anna. It sounds great, but I'm gonna make the room size 90. In the Anna. There's a flower going away, like a spirit said. So guys, that is pretty much how you can reverb your audio in Adobe Audition. I hope this video helped you. And I would really appreciate if you can smash that like button for me. And I will see you in the next video.